of the goodness of God. We bless the Lord this morning. Just worship Him. Just with your understanding. Give Him praise. Exalt Him. Worship Him. Thank Him. Bless Him. He's a good God. He loves us. Hallelujah. His presence is here. Glory. He loves us. He's mighty. Hallelujah. His goodness Hallelujah. brings us yes. here. Yes. His grace Thank has you. kept yes. us. His mercy. Yes. Yes. If not of the Lord, yes. none of us will be here. Amen. So I want us to take the time just to just connect and just worship Him. Yes. Bless Him, Hallelujah. exalt Him, and tell Him you love Him. Jesus. Declare to Him, our soul bless you. Yes. Our soul exalt you like the psalmist. Our soul so magnify you. I so make its boast in the Lord. We bless you this morning. We acknowledge you for your presence, for your power. We give you the glory that your goodness and your mercy is running after us, Lord. Thank you for your goodness that has kept us. There is no one good but the Lord. We bless you this morning. Thank you. Thank you for your supply of your spirit. Your mighty presence in this place. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Thank you, Father. We ask that you hide us behind the cross. This morning, that Jesus will be exalted. Circumcise our preparation. That Lord, you alone will be exalted. Circumcise our hearing. Circumcise our perception. That Jesus you alone, you alone, yes, you alone Lord. will be exalted. Yes, and we serve notice yes. to every other contrary situation. Yes, physical, Lord. spiritual, yes. emotional. Yes. We serve notice to you yes. that you will be brought down this morning. Yes, that Lord. Jesus will prevail over you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Thank you, dear Lord. Yes, we cover this service with the blood. Yes, yes. We yield to you, sweet Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Without you, we're nothing. Yes. Help us. Help us today. Yes, we give you praise. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's good to be here again. Yes. Yes. I've been here several times. Good to see you. What, yes, a blessing, what a blessing. Yes, Lord. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. We've been here a number of times. I mean, not speaking, but a number of other times that I've been here. Amen. And all is just swimming in glory. Yes, Lord. All yes. is just being blessed. Yes. All is receive, receiving direction. Yes. All is being nourished. Yes. All is being strengthened and encouraged. Yes. Yes. So yes. I bless the Lord that I can be here. Yes. Privilege. Yes. Privilege to be here at Divine Outreach. God bless you all. Thank you. Whatever God you guys are doing, yes. <laughs> it's a blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. God we take time to honor the Lord for um Sister Teresa, um, the honor yes. of um, the memory of um, your mother, mm -hmm. um, Sister Sarah, is good eye, um, Louise Spruce. Mm -hmm. I got all the four names. Mm -hmm. um, God bless you. I, I kept thinking about that. That service really touched my heart. Mm -hmm. it, it touched my heart about the impact of um, her life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the impact of a life. Uh -huh. And how much um um I, mean, I could you could see you know um how her life has been a blessing and and I kept thinking about something when they were talking about praise and and worship and I said man so it goes a little behind <laughs> it didn't just start with you you picked it from somewhere amen so God amen. bless you God bless you and God um God just strengthened you we're praying for you we're joining the church to pray for you God bless you and I'm blessed that you were able to. Lead us in worship, and we're still blessed. Yes, God yes, bless you. God bless you. you. I want to love our apostle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank God for you. Thank God for the ministry. Yes, yes. Um, it's just a, a, a pleasure mm -hmm. and a blessing. I'll never be tired to say it. Yes. Like you yes. and divine outreach are a blessing to us. Mm -hmm. All the wonderful and faithful ministers, Minister Barbara, Sister Jackie, mm -hmm. uh, Sister Linda. Sister, I don't want to say name. Auntie Loris. Auntie Loris. God bless you Amen. for being a, a beautiful addition to the church. Amen. And all the other brethren that are not here, I bless the Lord for my family. Yes. Um, Sister Alfredia and the kids. Amen. Um, Amen. <laughs> they keep me straight. Amen. <laughs> they call Amen. me up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's what he 
Amen. 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 Doing her job. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, yeah. She's doing her job. Yeah. So we're going to be sharing on something um, I titled The Spirit of Faith mm. in Battle. Mm. The Spirit of Faith in Battle. I received this actually on this, was it the 17th? Mm. This month that I received this word. And as I was thinking about what to share and just praying, this is what really came to my heart. Mm -hmm. The spirit of faith in battle. And we're going to read um, 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. And we'll also look at uh, 1 Kings chapter 17, the famous chapter of David and Goliath. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, 1 Kings, um, uh, first, um, first, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. I'll read from here. Yes. And we having the same spirit of faith. According as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. We having the same spirit of faith. According as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. You know, sometimes in life when you... As a parent, or as a pastor, as a leader, Amen. You, you can kind of pick up on some things. You, you hear your, your child saying some stuff, and you're like, hmm, <laughs> who have you been hanging out with? <laughs> what have you been watching? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Because eventually we'll begin to speak uh -huh. the things that we think about. Meditate about, hang around, listen to. Mm -hmm. We'll begin to speak those things a lot. Yes, yes. <laughs> Somebody comes yes. back and they start talking about John and John. I said, Who's this John? Your daughter talking about who's this? Who's this John? Mm. You be hanging out with John? Because mm. <laughs> they start talking a lot about the John, right? Mm -hmm. They begin to show him what they're saying, uh -huh. they begin to show him what they're reasoning. Uh -huh. And it's the same thing. If I spend time with the Lord, Amen. I'd be full of faith, wouldn't That's I? Right. That's right. That's right. The, the, the Bible says that uh, I'm the vine and you are the branches. If you abide yes. in me and I, I in you, you, you yes. bear fruit. That's right. The fruit of your lip, the yes. praise of your lip, yes. the sacrifice of praise. Yes. You, you, you would you will begin to speak what you hang around with. Yes. You yes. begin to speak what you meditate what you internalize it yes. says that we having the same spirit of faith yes we having the same thank you we having the same spirit of faith yes. as it is written i believe and therefore have i spoken mm -hmm. the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god uh, yes the bible says faith is the substance Yes. It's the substance uh -huh. Uh -huh. of things hoped for. Yes. It's the substance uh -huh. of things that I hope for. Yes. The evidence That's right. of the things that I don't see. Amen. I can touch it. Yes. I can feel it. Yes. I can I can have the assurance. Yes. I can be comforted because yes. I, I, I've touched it. I know it. Yes. I, I'm going to get there with my faith. faith. I can yes. hold it. Mm. I can feel it. Mm. I can live it. Mm. I can begin to prepare. Yes. yes. It, it says uh -huh. go. Uh -huh. it, it says go to Ahab to run. Yes. That the rain not stop him. But but he he saw it uh -huh. before the rain came down. Amen. With his faith, he touched it. He said, Go tell Ahab to run. Uh -huh. Before be, be, that the rain not stop him. Uh -huh. Because with his faith and his travail. In prayer, mm. yes. fellowship with the Lord, he had touched yes. the reality. Yes. The Bible said, we are having the same spirit of faith. Yes. According as it is written, mm -hmm. I believe and therefore have I spoken. Mm -hmm. And therefore I believe and therefore we do speak. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we're talking about mm -hmm. the spirit of faith in battle. Uh-huh. All of us face battles in life. 
Yes. All of us face different kinds of battles in life. Amen. And sometimes we, we tend to believe that um, <laughs> I am the most unfortunate. <laughs> we tend to believe that my battle is mm. more crushing and more difficult mm. and heavier than your own battle. Mm. And, and that is what um, the devil or the flesh would have uh -huh. us to think. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. But the Bible says that he will allow no more, yeah. no more. Mm. The faithful one who called us said he will allow no more mm. to come upon you. That's right. Than you are able to bear. That's right. And the Bible said, and, and, and whatever comes to you is such as is common to other men. Mm -hmm. And God is faithful, who will not allow you to be stretched, to be tempted mm. beyond that which you are able to bear. Yes. But in the temptation, inside mm -hmm. the situation, mm -hmm. He gonna make a way of escape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my question is, with the spirit of faith, do I see the way of escape? Mm -hmm. With my spiritual eyes, do I see Thank you, what the Lord is showing to me? Or I'm consumed by the circumstances in the flesh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the spirit of faith, do I see Glory. the way of escape? Yes. Because in his side, yes. the Bible says, God is faithful. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Who will not allow you? Yes. Not the neighbor, you. That's right. That's right. Not brother Jay, not brother sis, not, not brother Sue or uh -huh. sister Sue. Mm -hmm. Not brother John, not brother Peter, you. Mm -hmm. He said he will not allow you. Yes. To be stretched, to be tempted mm -hmm. beyond your ability to bear it. Yes. But in the temptation. Yes. In the situation. All right. mm -hmm. He make a way of escape. Mm -hmm. Now we see a story here to see the spirit of faith in um, this beautiful story. I believe most people have spoken about this and you're wondering, like, what are we going to speak again on David and Goliath? Bad for the spirit of God will not touch him. Because I reckon you must have listened to other sermons from better preachers than myself. But you see, this story is an amazing, interesting um, um Opportunity for us to be able to see the faithfulness and the spirit of faith mm -hmm. at work in battle. Glory. Now we look at Israel and Saul mm -hmm. standing before Goliath. Mm -hmm. We're introduced and Israel is standing before their ash enemy, the Philistines. Mm -hmm. And the Philistines is a type of the flesh. Uh, All right. Uh, uh. <laughs> The enemy don't go away. Mm -hmm. Even up till today. Amen. The, the, the remnants are still there in Palestine. Mm. The, it don't go away. It's with you. You beat him today. He go and come back. Mm. You know, kind of like a fly. You send him away. He go and come back. Amen. He, 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 the stove is hot today. Yes, he yes. stay away as long as the stove is hot. Uh -huh. When he go cold, he going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Come check out and see what's going on. <laughs> you send him away. He gone and he come back. Yes, Jesus. The Philistines. Uh -huh. The Bible says here that um, I'm not going to read a lot of this, but um, it picks up and the Philistines stood. Um, they were in battle, in array. There was a lion on this side and a lion on this side and there was a big ravine or valley in between the two of them. The army of Israel on that side. And the Philistines facing them on the other side. And the Bible says that <clears throat> out of the Philistines came a champion by the name of Goliath. Uh -huh. In the Bible says in verse, verse 3, and the Philistines stood on the mountains on one side, and Israel stood on the mountains on the other side. And there was a valley between them. Mm -hmm. And there went out a champion. Somebody say champion. champion. Out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of God, whose um, uh, height was six cubits and a span. Mm -hmm. You know what a cubit is? The cubit is some um, ancient measurement from your elbow to your arm. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. So six cubits is about nine foot to 12 or 10 feet. Uh -huh. So he real tall. 
Uh -huh. I seen a tall dude tum dip somewhere in QT one time, and I was looking like, what on earth? Hey, man. Now, this man is real tall. Uh -huh. He's big. He's got six fingers. Now, his armor, he's so big that his armor is carried by another person. Mm -hmm. And he's all armored in that this champion comes out. And the Bible says that, um, verse 8, And he cried out unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to, to set yourself for your battle in Ari? Am I not a Philistine? And you servants of Saul, choose you a man from you, and let him come down to me. And he, if he be able to fight with me <clears throat> and kill me, then I will be your servants, and we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him, and kill him, then you shall be our servants and serve us. And the Philistines said, the Philistines said, I defy the armies of this of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight. And the Bible said, when Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Excuse me. Where are we coming from? King 17. First King 17. First King 17. First King 17 from verse um verse 3. Um, I stopped right there at verse 11. Okay. All right, God bless you. Thank you. So <clears throat> the Bible says that the champion, let me say, who is a champion? Mm. It's a person who has defeated or suppressed all rivals mm. in competition. Especially in sports, mm -hmm. a person who fights or argues a cause on behalf of someone else. Mm. So we're looking at a champion who has been a warrior from his youth, and he stands and brings the battle. Instead of us taking it in mass, he takes the battle a little personal. Say, I want a man mm -hmm. to face me. Uh -huh. Not a crowd. I want a Amen. man. This battle is going to boil down to me and some other person. Jesus. Me and some other person. Thank you. Mm. you know, sometimes when we leave the church and everything, we are in a team, we're in a group, <clears throat> we're in fellowship, and the presence of God is mighty. Jesus. Where two or three are gathered, not in their own name, in my name. Amen. The Lord said, I show up. That's right. If it is in his name, he show up. Yes. If it is exalting him, yes. he show up. Yes. But when I leave and I'm alone, mm. the champion of the Philistine, mm. he's saying, you're going to fight me. Mm -hmm. It's between you mm. and me. Now, the Bible says that he throws words at Israel. And I want you to notice we're talking about the spirit of faith in battle. Mm. Now, this is Saul and his men. We're going to look at Saul and his men. We're going to look at David. And then we're going to look at the final victory. Mm. Now, Saul and his men. The Bible says that he defies the army. Mm -hmm. He curses the army. Yes. And by the time so um, David is coming to the battle, mm -hmm. it's gone 40 days. It's gone what? 40 days. Mm -hmm. Significant number. Yes, yes. Now, these people are fighting in the bat in the valley. And the Bible says that they are fighting. You know, and, and when they are fighting, you're wondering like, okay, the father is sending his son to go check his son over brothers in mm -hmm. battle. But for 40 days, the Bible says when they hear the voice of this Philistine, he charges and comes at them. Mm -hmm. The effect of what this man is spitting out yeah. mm -hmm. produces paralysis, mm -hmm. produces fear. Yes. And, and these people are, they are dismayed, they are sad. Mm -hmm. But they ain't battle. Mm -hmm. They ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. They're just listening. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible says, if you look at look further. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the spirit of faith in battle. Mm. So he defiles these people. And in the ranks of Saul, Saul has got mighty men in his army. You've heard of the chief of staff, mm. Abner. Mm. 
he one who took out um, one of the three mighty men of David, um, Asael. He killed him. Mm -hmm. If you read further, yeah. but my, he was a mighty warrior. But there was something about this Philistine that um, resonated paralysis mm -hmm. when they heard him. Mm -hmm. He took the battle to a certain it's level. Mm. Now, his presence was not just intimidating, but the Bible said he began to curse them by his gods. Mm -hmm. So he took it to the spiritual. Uh -huh. He took it to the supernatural. Mm -hmm. And they began to curse these people. Yes. You remember the Bible says that Balak or Balak uh -huh. came and hired Balak. Uh -huh. I said, I can't beat these people. Right. Now you curse, curse them. them. Uh -huh. You curse them. Uh -huh. After they are cursed, I will defeat them. them. Mm -hmm. The spiritual mm -hmm. controls the physical. Mm -hmm. And if I am a man of faith, mm -hmm. yes. if I control, I get the victory. Mm -hmm. In the spirit, mm. then I got the victory in the natural. Right, yes, 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 yes. 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 Mm. Mm. A man of God gave two terms to me that sums up spiritual battles. Mm. He said, When Satan is there, there is restlessness. Mm. When there is victory, there is rest, mm -hmm. peace. Yes. Yes. Joy, yes. thanksgiving, yes. praise. Mm. When Satan yes. is at work, yes. there is restlessness. Yes. There is confusion. There is yes. you, you, you have no rest. rest. Mm. When there is breakthrough, mm. there is rest. Yes, yes, yes. Our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. in the Garden of Gethsemane, mm -hmm. the Bible says he fought, he carried the world. In his shoulders, uh -huh. he fought the battle. If you look at Luke, look um, in one chapter, it says that this is your hour of darkness. Mm -hmm. When the father did not listen to him, right. mm -hmm. he carried the weight of the world. The Bible says he was in battle. He was a man in the flesh. Mm -hmm. He had stripped himself of all divine privileges. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Jesus. He got to a point, he said, I'm thinking, I don't want to go to the cross. I don't want to die because he was in the flesh. Uh -huh. This good old flesh. Uh -huh. The Bible says, mm. in, in prayer, he called other people, mm. come and pray with me one hour. One hour. Uh -huh. Not two minutes, <laughs> not five minutes, not three minutes. Somebody said, it don't matter how long. Oh, yeah. Leave them alone. Uh -huh. He said, come and pray with me one hour. Amen. The Bible says they came. Mm. And they were sleeping. Their eyes were heavy with sleep. Yes, yes. The Lord said, would you not watch one hour? He didn't say, I understand you're sleeping. He said, get up and pray. So it's not an excuse that I'm tired. It's not an excuse that I feel sleepy. It's not an excuse that I feel sleepy precisely when we're praying. It's not an excuse that I feel sleepy precisely when I'm supposed to be reading my Bible. Yes, Lord. The Lord Jesus, the Bible says, he got up. Uh -huh. He prayed. And the Bible says the Lord sent an angel that came and strengthened him. Uh -huh. After he got a breakthrough in that battle... The Bible says he came to his disciples and says, okay, you can sleep now. Uh -huh. He had rest. rest. Mm. From restlessness, he mm. break through and he got to a place of rest. rest. Mm. The battle you're fighting, have you come to that place of rest? Mm. Have you broken through? Mm. Have you prayed through? Mm. Have you fought through? You see, Goliath took it to a supernatural level. And no man in Saul's entire army could engage Goliath. Now, the Bible says that he began to pour, he began to pour venom into them. Venom of fear. Venom of paralysis. Mm -hmm. Venom of discouragement. Mm. Venom of doubt. Mm. Venom of um, discord. Mm -hmm. Bitterness. Frustration. Mm -hmm. He poured that in there for how many days? 40. 
I want to ask you, mm. how many days have you been listening to that person that's speaking to you nothing but? Mm. Oh, mm. Lord, have mercy. Go to my shake it, You know, mm, it, the, the Bible uh, is very clear. I want you to see something. Verse 16. They sent his daddy, um, Samuel, oh, Jesse sent his son, mm -hmm. his eighth son, mm -hmm. David. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. oldest son, um, um, Eliab, Abinadab, mm -hmm. and Shammah in battle. They are running with Saul. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. Now Saul and they all, no, no, now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley mm -hmm. of Elah fighting with the Philistines. Now he says they are fighting. Mm -hmm. But you come there, there is no combat. Mm -hmm. They said they are fighting. Mm -hmm. But you come there, there is no physical <laughs> combat. Mm -hmm. So what kind of combat was taking place? Mm -hmm. He comes there, they said they are fighting. Mm -hmm. It's true. But when you come there, there is no physical combat. Mm. I backtrack and go to verse number. Verse number. Let me see something here real quick. I want to go to precisely to verse number, the day number forty, and we want to see the difference here in something. First Samuel chapter sixteen. Okay, First Samuel chapter one verse 16, seventeen verse sixteen. Verse verse sixteen. And the Philistine drew morning and evening and presented himself forty days. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, day number 40, and as he talked, David, I'm skipping, David is talking to his brothers. The Bible says, and he talked, and they came, and, and there came up the champion, the Philistine of God, of Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistine, and spake according to the same words. David heard, he heard them. Now he rehearsed the same curse, the same words, for 40 days. Now look at verse 24. And the men of Israel, when they saw the man, this time, mm -hmm. it's just his sight. The Bible said, they fled from him and were so afraid. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, the Bible says that they were dismayed. Mm -hmm. They were just, okay, man, this thing is, this, this is not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By 40 days, their faith had grown, but it had grown in the negative direction. Mm -hmm. Now, when they saw him, the Bible said they fled. They look for holes to hide. <laughs> they, they, they inside. They, they have listened and to enough fear, mm -hmm. enough discouragement, mm -hmm. and they now saw themselves as grasshoppers mm -hmm. in front of this man. Mm -hmm. So they had no choice. They went and hid themselves. They said they were fighting, but there was no physical combat. Mm -hmm. but something was going on. Mm -hmm. A battle of words. Mm -hmm. A battle of spiritual words. Yes. The Bible says we have in the same spirit yes. of faith. Yes. As it is written. Yes. I believe and therefore have I spoken. We believe and therefore do speak. Yes. Yes. We have in the same spirit of faith. Yes. 40 days it was tested. Mm. How many days did, how many years did Israel go around the wilderness? 40. 40. 40. Yes, Lord. How many how many days did Moses fast up in the mountain? 40. 40. 40. Yes. How many days did the rain fall on the boat of Noah? 40. 40. It rained 40 days and 40 nights. Yes. 40. Yes. A number of testing. Testing. Oh Jesus. Now the Bible says that mm. these people ran and were challenged. Mm. Now there comes a man with a different spirit. Mm. And, and, and you need to listen. They come a young boy. Mm. David by name. The and Bible said this. He comes. And, mm. and by divine orchestration. Mm. He gets himself in battle. The Bible says that. The man rehearsed. The same thing that he had been researching for 40 days. The other people fled. But David reacted differently. 
Because he had the spirit of faith. Mm. There was something inside him. Something different. There was something based on an interaction he had with somebody. Mm. The living God. Mm. And when he heard it, the same situation that the other person was crying, oh me, we are done. Mm. Listen to the way David reacted. The Bible says in verse 23, and then he heard them. The last verse, last word, verse 24. And all the men, when they heard this, they saw the man, they fled. And the men of Israel said, have you seen him that he has come to, surely to, 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 he has come up, surely to defy Israel and he has come up. And it, it shall be that the man that killed, the, 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 um, the, 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 that killed him, the king, would enrich him with great riches and would give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spoke to the man and stood by him saying, what shall be done to the man that killed this Philistine and take away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that should defy the armies of the living God? He hears the same information. Mm. Under the same, we're in the same United States, mm. the same city of Santa, mm. under the same inflation, mm -hmm. <laughs> under the same, Amen. same circumstances. Crazy politics up and down. Mm -hmm. Hearing the same information. Mm -hmm. There are other people mm -hmm. that decide in deception to begin to preach the gospel of politics. They say, oh, we put our faith in this man. Mm -hmm. This is the one that we want. And they divide the adulterate, the pure and eternal gospel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are others that look in the uh, Complete, they complain from morning to evening. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they are sad. Mm -hmm. They are discouraged. They, they, you wonder, you say you believe that? Mm. No hope. Mm. No hope. What is the hope of your calling? Right. No, no, mm -hmm. nothing to stand for. Nothing. Mm -hmm. If we are, if Christ is not risen, then we are of all men most miserable. No hope. No, nothing that we can hold that is bigger than us. The Bible said David picked it up immediately. Mm -hmm. He began to ask. The same thing that put other people down. The Bible said when they say there is a knocking down. I would say there is a lifting up. Mm -hmm. A lifting up. Because David said who is this uncircumcised Philistine. Mm -hmm. That would defile the armies of the living God. Ooh, ooh, what, ooh. His greatness is not in the boy. He's only 17 years old. His greatness, his confidence is in his faith in the great armies of the living God. Yes. The God of the armies of Israel that this uncircumcised Philistine has defied. So he hears the same thing. The spirit of faith in him Begins to stir him. He finding out, boy. He said, "What? Well, I'm, I'm going to take him out for free." <laughs> but what you said, there's another, there's another blessing to it. So, oh my goodness! They say they're going to pay me for doing it free with the free grace of God. Amen. Freely you receive. Uh -huh. oh, freely, you so you're going to pay me on top of that. Say mm -hmm. so you, you don't enrich your father's house. You won't be behind the ship again. They, they, they're going to give you, you'll be tax free for the rest of your life. Mm. Just count the taxes. And, and you're going to marry, the, you'll be the king's son-in-law. And you get protection, you get all of that blessings. Mm. It's a goodness. What is And the Bible says that as he is talking, I'll skip some things because of the trend of the message. The Bible says Word came to the king. Now they all have heard for 40 days is pain, is discouragement. No man within their ranks had the spirit of faith. So this good news, this courage, this faith that involves.
information begin to spread like wildfire among the ranks of Israel. Right. And it got to the ears of the king. There is some hope. There is a man of courage. There is a man with a spirit of faith in the ranks of Israel. You see, the Bible tells us that, and this is where we trip. Mm. Though we walk in the flesh, mm. we do not walk after the flesh. Right. Amen. Though we walk in the flesh, oh, I wish yes. I would understand this every day. Glory. I wish I would understand this every day. It said, though, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, mm -hmm. though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Mm -hmm. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, they are not earthly, they are not humanly, they are not um, um, good politically correct philosophies, they are not wisdom from positive thinking, they are not, um, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing every thought to the captivity of Christ. The Bible says that even though we are in the flesh, and that is where the enemy, Goliath, the Philistines want us to do every day. To push me to rely on my flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To push me to respond in the office with my flesh. Thank you. Yeah. To push me to respond to my family, my brethren, my spouse in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And the flesh has good reason. Mm -hmm. The flesh has what looks nice. Mm -hmm. The Bible says some of it is like vain, it's like Will philosophy mm. in Ephesians, no, no, in Colossians two, it says philosophy that looks like a sh it looks it looks right, mm -hmm. it looks nice. Like don't do this, don't do that. Dress like this, cut like this, look like this, wear this big chain, this cross, do like this, that's right, like, and then you'll be able to win your battles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Religion, mm -hmm. Religion, no power, no having power. a form. Of godliness, but denying the true power of the spirit, denying the true power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says that if we walk with, if, even though we walk in the flesh, mm. even though it says that, living Bible, it is true that I am an ordinary, weak human being, mm -hmm. but I don't use human plants and metals to win my battles. I use God's mighty weapons, mm -hmm. not those made by men, right. to knock down the devil's strongholds. Mm -hmm. These weapons can break down every proud argument against God. And every wall that can be built to be kept from men from, find, from, from finding him. Mm -hmm. With these weapons, I can capture rebels and bring them back to God and change them into men whose hearts Desire uh, is obedience to Christ. Mm. David shows up. Mm -hmm. The spirit of faith is released. Mm -hmm. Now Saul says, call for this man to come. He's going to take this disgrace from us. At least he's going to try. But watch this. The Bible says that, verse 31, and the words were heard which, which David spake. They rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. Listen, and David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Listen to verse 33. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said to Saul, Thy servant came his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear. 
and took a lamb out of them, and I went after him. Listen, the Bible says that prior mm -hmm. to Saul seeing David with his physical eyes, All right now. Mm -hmm. he heard the message of a man of faith, a warrior, a valiant man. Mm -hmm. So all he had was the word. But when his eyes saw the man, then he said, no, you're not able. Mm. Listen, catch this. When his eyes saw the yes. young man, yes. mm. All right. he did not believe that the spirit of faith can be in a weak vessel. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, don't you know, 1 Corinthians 27, not many wise are called. Not many noble are called. That God uses the weak right. and the despised yeah. things to yeah. confound the wise. Yeah. I have seen in South Carolina mighty ministries, mighty apostles, mighty prophetess hidden in the, in, in, in the body of a janitor in a school. I said, what? And we went to this woman of God's church. We were looking for the church. They invited us to come to that church. We drove there and drove past with the address because it was the trailer. We went past there and I said, we're looking, you remember? We're looking by GPS. Where is the church? We came back with, there was another church close by. We said, but that address is different. We came back. I said, well, but this is 205. Mm. Let's go and check. As we are going close to the door, mm. we hear voices. Mm. We hear praise. Thank we God. hear the glory. It's here. It's here. Uh -huh. We go uh -huh. in there. Bam. Before we sit down, the word is already coming to us. Uh -huh. But the spirit of faith mm. was hidden mm. in a weak vessel. Mm. Exactly. The Bible said we walk by faith, faith. No. not no. by sight. Yes. His sight deceived him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But when he heard the message, he heard the word, uh -huh. he heard in the spirit of faith. Mm -hmm. But when David appears, his sight begins to give him another interpretation. Mm. He said, mm, he can't do it. Mm. He can't do it. Though we walk in the flesh, uh -huh. we do not war after the flesh. Amen. For the weapons of our warfare yes. are not yes. carnal. Right. They are mighty yes. through God yes. to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes. Jesus said to Peter, Peter said he marveled that this um, fig tree that he had cursed had died already in Mark chapter 11. And Jesus said to him, listen, Peter, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. Have faith in God. Whatever you're doing, have faith in God. That is what Jesus told him. And Jesus went ahead to say in verse 22, no, no, verse 23. It says, give me a second, verse 23. For verily I say unto you, that whatsoever, whatsoever shall say uh -huh. unto this mountain, uh -huh. be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Amen. I shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe yes. that those things which thou hast said shall come to pass. Uh -huh. You shall have whatsoever you say. Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire, yes, when Lord. you pray, mm. believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Mm. Yes, and the interesting thing about desire, the scripture says where desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Uh -huh. The scripture says that if I delight myself in the Lord, uh -huh. he will grant me the desires of my heart. Yes. So if I fellowship with him, uh -huh. My desires become fused with his desires. Uh -huh. My desires, I begin to pick up signals from the Holy Ghost. And why that stuff? It ain't just that I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. I got it from the Holy Ghost. Yes. And yes. I can run with it. Yes. Because I am going in the same direction with the will of God. Yes. I'm going in the same direction with the mind of God. Yes. I'm going in the same direction with the purpose of God. Uh -huh. David went back and said, Who? Is this 
uncircumcised Philistine. Mm. The people were stuck. Saul's army was stuck with the reward. Mm. They say if you win this, they only saw the fleshly reward. Uh -huh. You will get riches, you get cars, uh. you get this. But David took it a notch higher. Yes. He said, For who is this uncircumcised Philistine yes. uh -huh. that he would devour the armies of the living God? Yeah. And David begins to speak to Saul. He said, When the bear and the lion came, uh -huh. David did not stop. He continues to speak. Mm. As he's speaking to Saul, the lion and the bear came. He gave him a reference. He said, This God I am serving. It's not just dead religion and sermons. All right. He's a living God. Living he God. does things. He fights battles. He answers prayers. Yeah. When I am in a corner, in a situation needing him, he comes through for me. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Time will fail me. In honor of uh, our sister Teresa, and the passing of a wonderful mom. My wife lost her sister, and I shared that here before. I tried to comfort her, and I was messing everything up. I was making her angry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One day in the morning, she reads something from the book of Isaiah. I forgot to where. The sister, a pastor, in Cameroon, that's where I come from. I had given that same scripture to her, to the sister, one of the sisters living, the younger sister. And the younger sister shared that, that scripture with her. Mm. And she read it twice. Mm. That yeah. transformed her. Mm. It brought a peace and a joy that I, I, I tried <laughs> and I was a coke. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about Jesus. some dead religious mumble jumble. We're talking about a God that can say the entire landscape looks terrible. It looks barren. But Abraham, even though the Lord has turned around and chosen the well watered fields of Zoe, the Lord said, Abraham, turn your eyes and look northward, southward, eastward, westward, as Far as your eyes can see, I give it to you. He saw with the eyes of the spirit. He saw with the spirit of faith. He saw with the spirit of faith. He saw the things that the natural eyes could not see. He saw the things that flesh and blood could not give. The warfare we're fighting, you know, we we make when we don't understand the concepts of Christianity it sounds at some point as if the God we serve is wicked the God we serve is not good but, but if I will be patient if I will not have each ears when they are teaching A, B, C here as my ETS, I jumped to go to the other place where they're preaching X, Y, Z. But I didn't know what the A, Z, B, and by the time I come here, we are now in W. You, you, you're you left there. You're just confused. Oh. Having ETS. Studying and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Right. But the word says, be still yeah. and know that I am God. Yeah. Spend time with me. Yeah. Spend time in my word. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, David had the same information, was in the same battle, the same territory, and the challenge excited him. The challenge made him jump. The challenge said, what? Now listen, I tell you a number of obstacles. It don't mean that we don't have obstacles, we don't have challenges. All right. David had to overcome six, seven obstacles to get to the battle. To get to take out Goliath. What did the Bible say here? The Bible says in a verse, uh, um, verse 17 and 30, 28 and 30. The Bible says that his older brother came to him. And said, I know you. Why have you come here? I know your naughtiness. 
I know you he described him. And the interesting thing is that David did not counter that. So he probably was telling the truth. <laughs> it, it said, I know your naughtiness and your little pride. Mm -hmm. You come to see the battle. <laughs> David said, what have I done now? Mm -hmm. So me, he has a little pride in him. Uh -huh. He has a little naughtiness in him. Right. Just like me. Yes. Just like me. Uh -huh. But the Bible says that he did not stay with the brother who was negative. Uh -huh. He went to the next person. Uh -huh. What? He, he walked away from that negativity. Right. Now listen. Thank you. The Bible says that only from one person. Uh -huh. What was the obstacle that was coming from the brother? The voice of discouragement. Uh -huh. The voice of intimidation. Uh -huh. The voice of doubt. Yes. The voice of spite. Yes. The voice of familiarity. Mm. Say, look at you. Mm. What is wrong with you? The voice of mockery. Mm. <clears throat> and the voice of substitution. Mm. I explain all of that. From his brother alone came discouragement. Mm. Somewhat also from Saul. Now you cannot do it. Mm. From his brother alone came the intimidation. You shut up, you this naughty, naughty little brat. Mm. Why you come here? From his brother came the voice of doubt from Saul. You cannot, you cannot win. Mm. They declared to him. From his brother came spite. Mm. He was the eighth son. Mm -hmm. New beginning. Other, other Bible ministers say he was a product. Uh -huh. Of a certain kind of relationship. I've not studied it. I heard other people say. Mm. <clears throat> they say that because when the prophet came to anoint this one, it is not so obvious in the eyes of Jesse. Uh -huh. And they bring seven sons and they leave him out. Mm -hmm. So they are not proud of him. Uh -huh. So maybe it came from a relationship that. Uh -huh. the, and they, oh, we just kind of keep him under the wraps. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you know? Uh -huh. and, and, and the prophet is saying, man, but I thought I heard the Lord. He said, man, I, I, did I miss it this time? No, just for the adventure before I go. Do you have yet another son? He said, yeah, who's so, oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Go, go bring him. Go bring him. We are not going to sit down until he comes here. Thank you. Mm. The spirit of faith. Yes. Wrapped in a vessel yes. that is despised. Yes. Wrapped in a vessel that looks weak. Yes. Wrapped in a 17 year old boy. Mm -hmm. Wrapped in a vessel that don't look like. But he, but he, mm -hmm. We having the same spirit of faith. Thank mm. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The voice of mockery. Mm. He, he had to intimidate. He had to fight, deal with the voice of mockery and witchcraft. Mm. For Goliath cursed him by his gods. Goliath told him. It's fast tracking. I will give your head mm. to the birds of the. Am I a dog uh -huh. that you should bring this kind of? This is a an insult from your army, Saul. I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna destroy him. Mm. He had all of this coming against this one little boy. He's had more than enough attacking this spirit of faith. Mm. I tell you the truth. When the spirit of faith. That produces results, rises up in you. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, Thank hell God. breaks Thank loose. Yes. yes. And I tell you what, the hair don't come from anywhere far, it's from right near you. Uh huh. Yes. Close enough to hurt. Uh huh. Close enough to hurt. Yes. Close yes. enough yes. to have an impact. Uh -huh. Close enough to reach you. Uh -huh. It came from his brother. Yes. It came from the leader. Yes. It came from his brethren. Uh -huh. That mm. voice Jesus. spoke against the spirit of faith. Mm. Apostle, mm. maybe you have a long story. All the brethren of uh, divine outreach. Yes. When the Lord spoke to you. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did they receive that word and say, wow, <laughs> oh, well, we're going to support you. You fight and fight and fight. The devil is very surgical. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, I've shared that here today. I've shared that here before. The Bible said when he was cast out from the war in heaven, where a third of the angels rebelled. The Bible says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. 
For the devil has come against you with great wrath. Mm. And who is he coming for? He's coming for those that keep the commandment of God Amen. and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. He's coming for those who believe God. Amen. Yes. I'm not talking about a religious asset. Amen. Mm -hmm. For those who have the spirit of faith. Yes, Lord. Would know by this word I'm going to make it. Mm. By this promise I'm going to make it. Yes. Thank you. The Bible says he came yes. after the word. The parable of the sower. He came after the one that heard the word. That fell on the ground. The Bible says that the birds come and ate. Mm. He said it's them. That hear the word and immediately yes. the devil comes and takes yes. it away yes. lest he hear it, believe it, and he saved. Yes. yes. Lest he believe it. So he get all his voices. TV, voice of reason, voice of um you know, have you ever made a mistake to share a vision? Mm. Amen. With a brother, a sister, mm -hmm. a minister, Amen. apostle. Uh-huh. And you, what you got was discouragement? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I can what you got was, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. it, it cannot work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It takes discernment. Yes. I got to hide that word. Uh-huh. I got to hide that promise. Yes. I got to hold it. Yes. I got to speak it. Yes. I got to believe it. Yes. The Bible says, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Uh -huh. I got to wait for it. Yes. Abraham waited many years. Yes. God gave the promise. Yes. I got to wait for it. Wait. I got to walk with him. He gave the promise. Other things need to line up yes. before that thing comes to pass. Yes. Amen. I love the word that an apostle often uses. Mm. He gave the promise. Other mm. principles mm. need to line up mm. for that thing to come to pass. Yes. Yes. He gave the word. Other things need to line up. He spoke to Abraham. Right? Mm -hmm. But Abraham needed to walk straight. Bless you. Abraham needed to walk straight. Yes, Lord. Abraham needed to walk in the spirit. Yes. Abraham needed to separate yes. from Lot. Yeah, right. Yeah. All of these things needed to take place. But he's given them the promise. He comes back to him and say, walk before me and be thou perfect. Yeah. He comes to him and say, listen, as for me, my covenant is with you. As for me, my promise is with you. Yeah. As for me, I'm not going to fail you. Right. But you got to separate. Yes. You, 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 you got to trust me. Yes. You got to have a vision. Yes, Lord. You take him and say, go look outside. You see the sign of the sea? Yeah. Uh, I know you try. He said, let Ishmael live before me. I get it. But that is the Philistine. Mm -hmm. Look up. If you can count the stars. Yes, Lord. He's imprinting something in his spirit. And if you can count the sign of the sea. If you can do this. Then I give it to you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Bible said Abraham believed God. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said the Lord counted it for righteousness. righteousness. He didn't do no work. Mm -hmm. He didn't say two, take two steps, cut it this way, mm -hmm. um, dress this way, cut the prayer this way. Thank you, Lord. He, he didn't say all that form. Mm -hmm. He engaged them. He believed God. He, he, he believed God. And the Lord said, wow. The one that I, I could not swear by anyone. I looked, I couldn't swear by anyone by myself. And, 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 and he swore to Abraham. I said, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. 
In blessing, I'll bless you. Yes. In multiplying, I'll multiply you. Mm. Yes, Lord. Oh my God. Yes. How, how, how can I, how can I let the world begin to define the terms of my faith? Mm. Having begun in the spirit, have I become made perfect by the flesh? Have I become made perfect by figuring it out? When God told you before, you jumped and you did it. But now he, he trying to figure it out. But, um, boy, hey, the last time I go hurt. <laughs> uh, I, 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 we got to be wise. You know what all believers say? got to be wise. He said, man, just take it easy. You don't, you know, don't just put yourself out there, man. <laughs> you can be hurt. But Lord got your back. Yes. If, if, if I don't get into the valley of the shadow of death, yes. if I don't step inside, I'll never see God. Yes, yes. That was the point. David took, stepped out from the ranks mm. and stood before Goliath, mano a mano. There was a time Peter stepped out of the boat, left the eleven. Whether they're cheering or they're jeering, mm -hmm. he stepped out of the boat. The Lord said, Come. Mm -hmm. Peter stepped out. Jesus. I dare you. Step out. Step out. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I dare you. Step out. Yes, Lord. Step out on what? The spirit of faith is saying. Mm -hmm. The widow, the, 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 the woman with the issue of blood. The mm. Bible says she heard about Jesus. Yes. And yes. the Bible says she meditated on this thing until her faith began to move her. Mm. Her faith began to make her speak. She began to speak to herself. Yes. If only yes. I would touch yes. the hem of this garment. Yes. He had meditated, interacted with this thing. Yes. It had so consumed her. It had so, you know, it had so filled her. She was full of it. Now, all the doubt around her, all the naysayers, all the dangers, the voices, the traditions, saying if you, you touch other people, they're unclean, they could kill her. Mm -hmm. That spirit of faith made her go. Glory. And to touch the hem yes. of his garment. Yes. And the Bible says Jesus felt virtue. virtue. David. Faced all of these obstacles. And the last obstacle David faced, in a sense, in my order, mm -hmm. Saul said, a substitution for religion. Mm -hmm. Saul gave him his own armor. He said, Take my armor and use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now listen. David is a man of faith. He's operating by faith at this level. There's a boldness on him to defy his older brothers. Mm. Israel had structure and family, authority. There is, he comes before the king, and the king gives him his honorable royal robes, royal armor. He, he takes two full, two, three steps. And he said, No, this ain't right. Mm -hmm. I didn't kill the bear. I didn't kill the bear and the lion with this. Uh -huh. This is not what God told me. Uh -huh. This is not what I've known that works. Uh -huh. Grandma don't need your grandma in her prayers mm -hmm. to chase all them devils, all her grandkids. Mm -hmm. She know what works. All right. uh -huh. Not the one you wrote on the paper Thank and give to her. Say, no, that one don't work. Take it away. Uh -huh. She knows how to grow in the spirit. Yes, Lord. Like Hannah. Yeah. She know how to run in the spirit. Yes, and said, devil, lose her. Glory. Devil, yes. get out of my children. Yes. Devil, in the name of Jesus, yes. I break your power. Yes. Over the governor. Yes. Over the government. Yes. Out of my house. Yes. In the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Yes. David took it back to Saul. Mm. And said, I have not, I'm not used to this. Mm. Other versions say, I have not assayed this. Uh -huh. Other translations say, I have not tested this. Uh -huh. Other translations say, I have not proved this. Uh -huh. As we conclude here, mm. Jesus. thank you, Lord. Mm. Do you have a secret life? Mm -hmm. Not a 
secret life of sin. I'm not talking about secret life of sin. Do you have a secret life with testimony mm -hmm. of your walk with the Lord? Yes, Lord. That the word becomes flesh in uh -huh. your walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Do you have encounters? David said the first time the brothers are hearing that he killed the bear. But he slept with them in the same house. Mm -hmm. That they despise him. Mm -hmm. So no problem. No problem. It's not with you. It's with the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to come back and begin to run my mouth mm -hmm. and promote myself and open doors for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just be quiet in the background and do what I got to do. Amen. Amen. A day comes when God will expose and promote you. Amen. Yes. Yes. You know, I came to this church maybe six months or something. I kept coming for revival. I kept coming for revival. I kept coming for revival. I coming to be blessed. And I was blessed. And I'm still being blessed. Mm. One day, apostle came to me and said, Hey, you, 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 I perceive you a man of God. I want you to come. I want you to minister. I'm like, What? Mm. You don't even know me. I said, you don't even know me. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I was amazed. But I didn't go to her and say, you know, is this my credentials? <laughs> mm. Oh, you know, come and, you know, do a little pep talk around her. No. Jesus. Let the Lord do it. That's yes. right. There Let the Lord do, do it. it. Yes. He does it perfect in his, in his time. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. In his time. In his time. So I said, as I concluded, David had a, a closed walk mm -hmm. with the Lord. Yeah. In that closed walk, he knew how to win battles. Uh -huh. He knew how to kill a bear. Mm -hmm. He knew how to kill a Goliath. And he knew how to kill a lion. Right. When he's faced with Goliath, he said, the same God yes, Lord. that helped me with what I know. Mm -hmm. That killed the lion and the bear. Yes, Lord. He's going to take you, Goliath, out. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, Jesus. And what he did not know is that taking that Goliath out, his life was never going to be the same again. Mm -hmm. Glory. <laughs> When he took Goliath out, he projected him to the palace, mm. to the throne, yes, yes. closer to his destiny. Yes, mm -hmm. Jesus. But he just did what he knew to do uh -huh. mm -hmm. at yes. the right time. Uh -huh. He didn't work it out by the flesh. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave that opportunity. Mm -hmm. I want to challenge you. The spirit of faith for battle. Mm. You don't just you just get up and you become a giant by chance. Mm. You become a mighty man of valor. Mm. Oh, the prophecies somewhere yes. spoken to me here, and I hold those prophecies dear. Mm. I'm telling you. Yes, Amen. I was telling somebody yesterday about a prophecy. That is what the Lord told me. Mm. So I'm still trying to see if I can do this. But I know this is what He told me. So let me keep doing this first. Uh huh. I'm not going to work it out myself. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do I have a secret life? Mm -hmm. Do I have a personal fellowship? Yes. Do I have encounters with him? Yes. That he becomes real. Mm -hmm. That in the open, I can be able to use what I know. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, some people get anointed when they give them a... Uh, they see a microphone. Mm -hmm. They want to do with a microphone what they don't do. In their personal in their life. Person, yeah. mm -hmm. What would this microphone do mm -hmm. without the backing of Amen. the Spirit of God? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of faith. Yes, Jesus. For battle. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you today as we pray. There is a choice. You can be the older brother. All you know to do 
is to intimidate the anointing and out of you. Mm -hmm. You can be so that you look in the flesh, mm -hmm. you perceive in the flesh. You can be, or you can choose to be David. Amen. I say, mm -hmm. I'm going to believe you. I'm going to allow God to work in me. Yes. Away from the crowd. Mm -hmm. In my secret place, in my closet. The spirit of faith for battle. All of us have battles. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of us have challenges. Yes. All of us have issues. Yes. That we're dealing with. Yes. And uh, the God that we believe say he is faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond that which you are able. Yes. But in the same temptation, he will make a way of escape yes. that you will be able to bear. Mm -hmm. With the spirit of faith, do I see the way of escape? Yes. Do I see the way of escape? Mm -hmm. yes. I want us to know that God is faithful. Yes. I want us to pray this morning. <clears throat> Maybe you don't have a relationship with Jesus. Maybe you're watching online by YouTube, by um, Facebook. You don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, or you're here. You don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And you want to give your heart to the Lord. This would be an opportunity for you to be able to say, I repent of sin and uh, um, and ask for mercy. God is not in the business of condemning. God is in the business of saving, of salvaging, of taking back what is broken and fixing it and making it whole. But I gotta give him the chance to be able to do that for me. So if you're here, you wanna give your heart to the Lord Jesus, I want you to pray with me. Anybody, you wanna give your heart to the Lord? You wanna give your heart to the Lord. Okay, if you're online, and you wanna give your heart to the Lord, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I thank you that you love me and you died for my sins. I repent of all my sins. I ask that you forgive me. Come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. Deliver me from the power of sin. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Jesus, for saving me. For with the heart the man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. That is what I have done according to your word. And I receive assurance that I am saved according to the scriptures. In Jesus' name. I'm going to pray for you if you have a problem, you have a situation. Um, and you want us to partner to agree together to pray. In the name of Jesus. Sister Alfreda, please come and help me. We will pray together. Um, you have a situation.